Hello, in this video we're going to do a Robinson Crusoe type economy. Uh, this is stuff you might find in a general equilibrium chapter of a intermediate microeconomics textbook. So here's Robinson's utility function, where y is units of good y and L is hours of leisure. Robinson can produce good y according to this production function, where H is hours of work. Robinson is endowed with 24 hours a day that can be split between work, which produces good Y, and leisure. So this condition then, 24 hours, will be some combination of leisure time plus hours of work. If we solve this equation for H, hours of work equals 24 minus hours of leisure. So the first thing we'll do is we'll make a substitution into the production function where we have H. We're going to put in 24 minus L. So Robinson's production function can be expressed here in terms of leisure hours. And then the next step we'll do is we'll plug this production function into the utility function where we see Y. We'll plug in 24 minus L raised to the 1 half power. So here we got utility as simply a function of hours of leisure. The next step is to maximize utility. So we're going to maximize utility uh, by taking a derivative and then setting that derivative equal to zero. So the first step here is uh, the derivative of this. Uh, the L will just become one. So that's why I have 24 minus L to the one half. I'm missing the L term. And then the second part of this derivative is going to be plus one half. The one half is what uh, the exponent is up here. Then we're going to subtract 1 from that exponent, so 1 half minus 1 leaves us minus 1 half up here. And then the, uh, well, the L is still here, so we don't do anything with the L. And then we take the derivative of what's inside the parentheses with respect to L, and we get minus 1. So moving uh, some of this over here on the right-hand side, we get this result. And then following the rules of exponents, we can move this 24 minus L to the minus 1 half power down to the denominator. Uh, we can multiply through or cross multiply these two terms here, this 24 minus L to the 1 half and 24 minus L to the 1 half just gives us 24 minus L. And then adding L to both sides we get 3 halves L equal 24. Solving for L we get 16. And if Robinson is taking 16 hours of leisure in a day, and there's 24 hours in a day, that means he must be working the remaining hours, or 8 hours. Plugging 8 hours and hours of work into the production function, Robinson produces 2.83 units of good Y. Um, let's find out what the wall raising prices are in this economy. So we take the utility function and we're going to get the marginal utility of leisure uh, by taking a partial derivative. Notice here the price of leisure is really the wage. Every hour of leisure means you're giving up uh, um, uh, an hour of work that you're being paid W. And then the marginal utility of good Y is another partial derivative. And here we just get that to equal to L. And the price of good Y will say is P. So to maximize utility, uh, the marginal rate of substitution, which is the marginal utility of leisure divided by the marginal utility of good Y, equals the ratio of the prices, the wage divided by the price of labor. We will plug in for Y 2.83. That's what we found on the last slide. We'll plug in for L16. That was the optimal hours of leisure for Robinson. And then what we'll do, we'll normalize the price of good Y to equal 1. And that means the wage here, the implied wage here, is 0 0.177. So that would be the Walrasian price in equilibrium. The wage is 0 0.177. And then the price of good Y is uh, 1, normalized to be 1. We can check the intuition behind these, uh, these uh, wages and prices by doing the following. Let's say Robinson wanted to maximize profit. So profit is going to equal the price of good Y. 
uh, minus the total cost of producing good Y. Remember, we normalize the price of uh, Y, or uh, the price of Y, or P to one, T equal one, so I'm not writing that P here anymore. What is Y? H to the one half. So I'm making some substitutions here. P is one, Y is the production function, H raised to the one half power. W, w, the wage we found on the last screen to be 0.177, and that's multiplied by H. So let's take the derivative of the profit function with respect to hours of work, the choice variable, set that result equal to zero, moving some things around, and then solving for H, H equals eight. Okay, so we saw that on the previous slide, so um, that would be the the efficient uh, allocation of Robinson's time to provide eight hours of work given these uh, prices and wages. All right, uh, I hope you found this video helpful.